Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for October 1st through October 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. We are in the final stretch of 2020, so hope you guys are doing well um, and preparing kind of for the rest of the year. For those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point, which I'm beyond grateful for. The link below has all the information on my website about the distance energy therapy and healing. You can read about the benefits. Definitely check out the testimonials page and you'll see I have a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I, I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And I think that's it. We're just going to get straight into the readings. Hello, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for October 1st through October 15th, 2020. I've already fully shuffled, so let's just see what we've got for you today. Are you kidding me, Leo? <laughs> you just jumped right out of the deck while I was shuffling. Starting with the strength card. Beautiful. All right, so like you saw, we've got strength card out first. I love this card. To me, this card really speaks about inner strength, trusting the self, um, knowing what you know to be true and holding strong to that, um, allowing the universe to bring things to you, gifts, messages, information. It's not going out and conquering and you know, solving the mystery or whatever it is. It's really a part of surrendering and allowing. And it does take inner strength to do that. So if you've been working on that, good job. I've also got the hanged man here. So this is interesting. You could kind of be in a position uh, within your life or your relationships or with what's going on around you where um, some of you may be feeling a little bit stuck like your hands are tied or you don't know which way to go, but others I think are gonna be feeling okay. Like you're okay with just being where you are and not needing to be over there or over here instead. You're just happy with where you're at and you're allowing that space to be there. I've also got the Nine of Pentacles here, which is really a card of self-sufficiency, independence, abundance, not needing anything from anyone around you, like truly having everything sorted out for you, within you. It's also just a very abundant card, so financially st uh, stable on your own. So with these two cards, Leo, my goodness, I feel like you're getting to a place where you just feel really strong inside and out. Maybe that's why you're just comfortable being. You don't really need any big changes or any, you know, big things to happen right now. Okay, I'll take them. Interesting. Okay, so Leo, I feel like we've got two of swords, knight of pentacles, and three of swords. Okay, and then I also have the page of swords come out here, which I'll get to in a minute. But this is interesting because this knight of pentacles, I feel, is an offer coming in for you. The universe wants to bring you or give you something, either love um, a new work opportunity, something new that's going to be really stable and really good for you. But there's a fear around it, a fear to receive it, a, a fear of maybe getting something like that in the past and then it brought hurt and pain. So with the two and three of swords around this, I feel like you don't have enough information right now to make a decision about whether or not you want to receive this, like whether it's a yes or a no. But be aware of that because the Three of Swords is really triggering past pain and past hurt. So this lack of being ready to make a decision could be coming from past experiences, a past situation that you dealt with. And it's obviously coming up for a reason. Um, also to go from the Two to the Three of Swords, there will be some progress here that does show progression. 
But to me, the Two of Swords is about needing to make a decision, but you don't have all the information to make the best decision yet. Okay, yet being the key word. You're not quite there yet, Leo. So just maybe that's why you're in the hangman position here. You're okay. You just want to be for a minute and let things kind of balance out on their own. But this Knight of Pentacles energy is in the center of your reading. So there is something solid and strong coming in for you. Again, this can be love for some of you. This can be work for some of you. You should know what it is. But there's a little resistance because of a past situation, okay? And there may need to be some communication around that. That's why we've got the messenger card here with the Page of Swords. Texting, calling, emails, however you communicate, something with words and thoughts. And if you notice all these little birds up here kind of buzzing around the head and the ear, I feel like you're not going to be left alone until you, till something happens here. Meaning you're going to keep feeling it. You're going to keep wanting to communicate or face whatever this is. Even though it may not be time to fully make a decision, you still need to face with what are these swords? Where are these coming from? What is the pain? What is the past situation that's linked in here? Let me see what else I've got for you. I'll see how this turns out here. Yeah, so the communication that needs to happen here with the Page of Swords, that's going to bring a moment of kind of pulling within, pulling back your resources, your time, your energy, your effort, where you're spending your money. You're just really pulled in and, and a little bit self-protective right here, which is okay. I think you need that for a little bit of self-reflection because after that, you've got the Sun card. Leo, you are starting with you and ending with you. <laughs> I love it. So I think the message here is there may be some things in the first couple weeks of October that try to pull you away from yourself, from your truth, from your knowing. That's maybe what part of the lesson is. But also what I'm feeling with the sun card is all the clarity is going to come through. All the truth is going to come through that you need. Anything that's been hidden or in the shadows is going to come to light. So you are going to get the clarity and you are going to get the answers that you're seeking. So this will only be temporary. This Two of Swords energy will only be temporary because you will be ready to move forward. You will be ready to receive or offer whatever this Knight of Pentacles is. And it could be because this is going to be so stable um, that... The clarity does need to be there. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is, is quite a foundation of something, okay? A foundation of what newness is coming in. Again, it could be love, it could be work, a new living situation, something like that. Um, but there's just a lot of Leo energy in here. So kind of taking charge, making sure you're connecting to the love that you want to give and receive. Protecting yourself a little bit, Leo, that's okay too. Um, but I've also got Earth energy out here, so Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, the Air energy, I mean, it could be Libra, Capricorn, or sorry, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I think that's more so linked to some of the decisions and the communication that needs to happen. Um, so I think just stay connected to you, Leo. That's a strong message here because things are going to try to distract you a bit from that. But I think if this is new love coming in for you, this Knight of Pentacles, it's leading you to a really happy, beautiful place. But you've got to get through some of the past, some of the pain, some of the stuff that's coming up for you. That's really important to heal and clear that. <laughs> As I'm saying, to heal and clear that, we've got the healing card. Here you go, Leo. Allow yourself to heal. Okay, you could see all the healers in the world, but unless you really allow the healing, that's when it's going to happen. You've got to be ready for it. You've got to allow it. So I just notice a lot of peace around here. I'm also noticing the nature here. You might need to get out from people and busy streets and just get into nature. Tune in with yourself. Hear the soul. Hear the heart. Okay, let me get a spirit animal message for you as well. 
Okay, there it is. Wow. Oh my goodness. Snow Leopard, self-reliance. Wasn't I just saying that you have to count on you, Leo? Don't get away from you. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. I love this for you, Leo. And look at it. Leopard has the word Leo in it. Self-reliance. Part of your message right now is to not get away from you, Leo. Keeping that connection. Be aware of those around you who want to distract you, who want to push their opinions on you, etc. This is part of your inner strength and part of the lesson that you're going through. And the outcome is going to be very positive. So I really hope that resonates with you. I like this message for you. Um, if it doesn't resonate, no worries. You can watch the moon sign, uh, rising, Venus, Jupiter, really any placement of Leo. Uh, thank you for the comments below the video. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy, healing, and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients all around the world at this point. So the link below to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy uh, therapy and healing. You can read about the benefits. Definitely check out the testimonials page and you'll also see I have a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. I think that's it, Leo. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to October and I will see you back here for the second half of October readings. Take care.